This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about bed bugs and other alternatives to crossfire that you could use to eliminate your bed bug problem. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. If you really like it, think of subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, below. So first off, I'd like to say thank you for everybody that comes and visits me on my live streams every Thursday night. Uh, for those that don't know, I do live streams every Thursday where I answer your questions and I get anywhere from 20 to 50 people. In fact, I had my wife in there with me last night helping kind of monitor the questions so I didn't miss any because it's, it's really difficult when the chat is just scrolling, 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 scrolling and I can't even hardly keep up. So I just want to thank everybody. I enjoy it. I really like sitting there and talking with everybody and enjoying the live streams where we can communicate with each other. So if it's something that you want to you know, catch sometime, be sure to uh, like the, the channel, follow me, whatever, and so that you can be there and get those notifications so you know when I'm live and you can come and ask me questions too. Uh, I also take phone calls at that time, I, uh, which is like, you know, kind of like one of these call-in radio shows that you hear on TV or on the radio all the time. And so um, anyway, I just want to thank everybody for showing up and, and just being there. It's just, it's really a joy. Uh, several people there, um, let's see, Jessica, uh, uh, ice, um, you know, several people that just come, I, that are just always there, that they're always there to talk to me about bed bugs and stuff like that. It's just a really a joy to have you. And so I just want to say that first, get the mushy stuff out of the way. And now let's talk about bed bugs. So last night on my live stream, a question was brought up about, uh, bed bug problems and they were having issues dealing with bed bugs <coughs> and their exterminator used temperate. They wanted to know how often you should treat with temperate. And this got me thinking. I was like, well, I went and read the label on stream, and I was talking about the active ingredients. And the, in fact, the active ingredient in temperate is imidacloprid, imidacloprid, however it's pronounced. But it's a neonicotinoid. It's a non-repellent pesticide. So for those of you that have been watching me for more than a few weeks, know that I actually recommend uh, the use of Crossfire. Crossfire is what I recommend for the control of bed bugs. It is the number one best bed bug chemical out there on the market right now. A lot of exterminators are switching to Crossfire because it's so effective. And, you know, in this business, you just don't want callbacks. You don't want to have to go back out to a house and deal with a complaint. You want to get it right the first time because every complaint you have to come out on is, is just, it's wasted money for one. And it's a disappointment to the customer. And so your goal is to please the customer and keep the customer happy. Crossfire does that beyond anything I've ever used. Um, and so that's what I recommend. And if you live in an area where you can purchase Crossfire, that's what you need to get. Now, the way you can know this, whether or not you can get Crossfire or not, is go in my description below, click the Amazon link that I have there. It's an Amazon store link, something I can't remember exactly what it's, uh, it says it is, but it's an Amazon store link. Click it, go to my page, look at the bed bug supply section, Go down and see if you can click Crossfire, if you can order it or not. Um, it will say, not deliverable in your area, if you cannot receive it. Um, I know that there's a couple of places, New York State, <coughs> excuse me, New York State is a place that you cannot get Crossfire. Uh, Canada, you can't get it there. Uh, Germany, I believe Germany, you can't order it. Um, and there's a couple other areas. If, if your area cannot receive Crossfire, please link it below or tell me about it in the comments because um, I know my audience would be interested to hear too. So Temperance available in a lot of places. Crossfire is not. I believe it's even available in Canada. If not, uh, please correct me. I'm sure you will in the comments. But Temperate is, like I said, imidacloprid. It is a non-repellent pesticide, just like Crossfire. This means that the bed bugs do not see the pesticide. They're not repelled by the pesticide. They don't even know it's there. Once it dries, they just crawl across it like it's not there, and they die. That's why 
the chemicals are designed for bed bugs. That's why they work for bed bugs, because the best way to kill bed bugs is to use a pesticide that the bed bugs don't see. So, um, and, and there's a couple other ones that are like that too, not just crossfire and imidacloprid, but we're going to talk about imidacloprid today. So, um, why is it that I recommend crossfire over imidacloprid? So one of the differences in crossfire is that crossfire has a 30-day residual. It lasts for an entire month. Um, and this is on the label specifically. It says you can treat as often as once a week, but it lasts for 30 days. So it will kill bed bugs for 30 days. In fact, I recommend treating once a month. If you have a heavy infestation and you're seeing bed bugs all over the place, you may want to treat more often. Um, but the point is, is I've go, I go into these houses all the time that are heavily infested and I still only treat them once a month. So and it eliminates a problem. <clears throat> the point is, is that the amount of work so that you have to do to, to apply a pesticide like this, you have to take all the sheets off the bed, you have to uh, remove any comforters, any, any covers, you sometimes even have to take things out of the drawers if the, if the bed bugs are really bad and they're living in your dressers and places like that. You may have to remove clothing from your drawers and you have to do all this laundry and you have to bag all this stuff up and you have to, it's just, it's a real big ordeal to have to go through. Um, and if you're watching this, you you know, I'm preaching to the choir. If you've had to deal with bed bugs before, you know, it's a big deal dealing with bed bugs. And to have to do that more than once a month is just, it's so much to have to do. And it can be very daunting. It can be very discouraging. And I like Crossfire because you don't have to do it, but once a month. Tempered though, on the other hand specifically states on the label seven to ten days it has to be reapplied so you're looking at seven days once a week once a week i've got to tear my whole entire house upside down just to get rid of bed bugs that is so absurd um even if a week and a half i mean that's still that's a long ways away i mean that's not a long ways away it's real short it's real short distance between the two treatment times and you may have to treat six, seven, eight times to get rid of bed bugs. And the reason this is, is because the eggs are on a schedule. They hatch in six to 10 days. So if you're having to reapply uh, temperate in seven to 10 days, um, then that's, that's why you have to do it that way is because you're having to kill those eggs when they hatch. But the problem is, is that the eggs don't bite you right away. When the babies come out of the egg casing, they're like, they're not hungry. They don't come out looking for food. They don't want to bite you. They wait another week to 10 days before they actually come out and get their first blood meal. So now we've applied the tempered three times and we've only applied crossfire once and it's still killing every phase. Every phase of bed bugs that comes out of those eggs is gonna die from the crossfire, but tempered, not so much. Also, there's an issue with tempered where the bed bugs have started to develop an immunity to imidacloprid. So what does this mean? This means that the bugs are actually getting a chemical resistance, much like you would get an antibiotic resistance or a resistance to, say, uh, nasal decongestion medication this time of year. Because it's, it's, I'm coughing and sneezing because of the allergies. You know, people get allergies and it's allergy season and people get to where Claritin and Zyrtec and stuff don't work anymore because they become immune to the medication. And bugs become immune to pesticides, pesticides they're overly exposed to. And if people aren't treating often enough with the temperid, you're going to hire, you're going to hit a higher risk of actually breeding a chemical resistant bug. But if you do live in an area where crossfire is not available and you can't get, I mean, you can't buy Apprehend. Apprehend is only sold to people with licenses like me. So those are your only two options really that work the best for bed bugs. But if you live in an area where the only thing you can get is tempered, then honestly, it's better than nothing. And this is where I would recommend treating at least once a week. And it's a lot to have to do. You may have to treat six or seven times. You may have to buy more tempered in order to, to do all the work you have to do. But, and take this with a grain of salt because I don't use tempered. All I know is what I've read on the label and all I know is what people have told me. Exterminators and homeowners alike have both told me that they've had a lot of problems with uh, tempered not killing bed bugs as effectively as some other things on the market like Crossfire. So hopefully this video has been uh, beneficial to you. Hopefully you've learned something from this video. Uh, if you have, 
Don't forget, hit the like button. I really do appreciate everybody. I'm getting close to 15,000 subscribers. It's kind of crazy. I never thought that so many people would want to learn about bugs. And But if this interests you, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Check me out on my live streams. I, there's always room for more people. That's probably the most fun I have all week is when I get into my life. Well, other than playing with my kids and hanging out with my family, that doesn't count. But as far as pest control, live streams are where it's at. I really like sitting down with you guys and talking and discussing bugs and uh, you know how to eliminate your bug problem. It's, it's really a joy to me. Um, my audience is they're some of the best people in the world. I really do enjoy you guys. And everybody's always there to help each other. And I feel like it's just a really good, tight-knit community. Also, I have a Discord link below. I have a TikTok. I have all kinds of different ways that you can check on the stuff that I do. Um, so, you know, check out those links below. All my social media links are below. So uh, you guys have a great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, like, subscribe, follow me, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.